boxing media the fighters channel the trainers channel the people's channel what's going on my camera's going a little bit crazy today this morning because i'm trying to charge it in the same time because we're gonna probably have a decent long segment but you know what who knows let me just take it off the charger for now all right smash the like button ladies and gentlemen smash the like button subscribe to the channel it's your boy mills from mill city boxing home of the high level pro boxing media we're going to be having a special guest today we're going to be having uh my man coach kenny ellis um hopefully everybody's having a good day today all right smash that like button ladies and gentlemen for me smash that like button and also subscribe to L City Boxing on YouTube. All right, all right. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just a brief recap. We're going to be having Coach Kenny Ellis, Javante Tang Davis as coach, uh, tuning in with us today. Salute to everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, phone lines will be available shortly as well. Throwing some topics out there. Obviously, the Tim Zhu and Fondora fight. Obviously, the main topic of today. Um, we're what? 10, 10 days out until the opener of Amazon Prime. Um, was Keith Thurman. Now we have a replacement. What is going on? Dodge J, HLD in the building, saludo, saludo, mi gente, what's going on, what is going on, waiting for Coach Kenny Ellis to tap in with us, and he's actually right here, so salute to each and every single one of you, we got over 120 people on the YouTube live, salute to each and every single one of y'all, make sure y'all do me a favor and smash that like button, all right? We got the one and only, the Bible, Limp on Swami, Coach Kenny Ellis. What's going on, Coach? What's happening? What's happening? How you been? I'm doing good, man. Just living another day, staying That's blessed good. as always. That's good. How about yourself? I'm dying another day. I ain't gonna start living until I get on the other side. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we got some people here. We also got salute to Eric Kelly. Salute to also all the people on the live. We got over 123 people on the YouTube as well. Salute. Make sure y'all say hi to uh, Coach Kenny Ellis. And if you know, also smash the like button. And that's also another way to say hi to Coach Kenny. You know what I'm saying? Um, ne nevertheless, we have so much boxing to talk about. I haven't spoken to you in quite some time. But I'm glad to have you back. Um, so, how's everything in the gym so far? Everything's good, man. Yeah. Everything's good. Very busy with um, the stable? Oh, yeah. Always, man. Always, always busy. Got more recruits, too, you know? Mm, 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 mm. The whole generation. Sheesh. That's what's up. That's what's up. Listen, um... Damn, Kenny, it's been a minute. So much things has gone by. I mean, did you see the Engano and Joshua? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was surprised. I thought it was going to, you know, be a little more competition than that. You think that helped boxing right there? You think that, like... Yeah, it's definitely sparked the heavyweight division back, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Getting into last week's fights, man, um, you know, we had Cepeda... Uh, versus Maxie Hughes, a guy that Maxie Hughes last fought Cambosis. People thought he won. What you thought about the performance with Cepeda, the golden boy? Man, uh, Cepeda, man, he got an engine on so far, you know? Mm -hmm. I, like, I like his gas tank, his, his output, you know? He come to rumble so uh, far. Right. He's also, um, you know, the number one WBA man um, on the list as well. Um, as far as that performance, I mean, he got Maxi out of there um, really quick. I, you know what I was telling people on my show? People want to talk smack about Tank, right? 
But if you look through Maxie Hughes' resume, there's a guy that Tank beat there that beat him. Hey. You know, that they pick and choose who, who, who they want to favor. You know how that go. Liam Walsh and Tank, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Tank was the B-side in that fight. Nah. Not necessarily B-side, but he was the... He was in the UK. They, they was coming, you know. He was in the UK, but... Was he the favorite in that fight coming in? Yeah, yeah. Tank was... The, people came out for Tank in the UK, you know? Mm-hmm. We got a lot of fans over there, man. We, we had our separate workouts, and people came out for him, supporting him, you know? That's crazy. Um. So, speaking upon um that destruction... Uh, did you see that fight playing out that way with Maxi and him? Cepeda? Yeah, Cepeda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Cepeda, Cepeda got... He, he, it's two people that can beat Cepeda, I think, right now. Talk to me. That's, that's, that's our dog and, and Shakur. You know, when I talk to... You know, you know when I talk to Cepeda... He he told me that tank is the trickiest fight. Yeah. Um I, I hear he puts out over a thousand punches per per fight and this and that. Yep. No 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 disrespect to him and his team, but are you willing and able if your equilibrium is shook? You know what I mean? Will your punch count go down? You mm-hmm. know? So it's a lot it's it's a lot to it when when you when you fighting different opponents, so yeah. but right now he's looking good, man. I wish the best, you know. I wish him the best, but uh, right now I don't think he, I don't think he can beat Shakur and Tank. Mm. That's just my opinion. No offense, you know. Yeah, no, no, no. That's your opinion. You're valid. Uh, so speak upon that that matchup though. Like, um, if, if you would have to say if they matched up, um, well, even before that, let's get into this. He's tr- they're trying to go the IBF route. So the winner of Cambosis and Loma, who do you think wins that fight? I gotta rock with uh Cambosis. Wait a minute. Talk to me. Father Time catch up with everybody, and I think Father Time caught up with um Loma. Mmm. Caught up with him. So you think that Cambosis has the IQ to be in there with a Lomachenko for 12? I think five years ago, Cam, uh, uh, Lomo would have got him, but Father Time caught up with Lomo. The, the, the Lomo that Devin just fought, it was Cam, very competitive. Cambosis will out hustle him now. Mmm. out hustle him. That's going to be. Shoot, you, are you are you dropping a bag on that one? Because I'm pretty sure Cam Bose is the underdog. I, I probably will. I, I just see as the fight get closer. You know what I mean? Um, I, I like I like um, I like Lomo, but Father Time caught up with him. Mm. It ain't there no more. You know, we catch up with everybody, man. That's the part the casual fans don't they don't. I don't understand that part. Just like when, when people thought Ali was going to do something and get out of the homes, beat homes, it, it was gone. When, 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 when people thought Sugar A. Leonard was going to do something against the young Tyler North, it was gone. You know what I mean? The same situation. It happens to every fighter. You know? So, that being said, all right, so, wow. I mean, because, you know, I've heard some coaches say, you know, I think that. I, even to Polly, Polly was saying that Cambosis can give Loma uh, problems. Uh, not, I'll hustle. Just the hustle. Not, it won't be not, like he. Not, I don't think he can knock him out or nothing like that. But I just think he won't on the point if he won't get him. What, what would you have to say about people that say that um, after Cambosis fought uh, Tiafimo Lopez, he's never been the same? Yeah, that's when it's, that's about when it started right there, you know. Father Time was like, if you want to do it, do it now. Mm. If you didn't do it, I'll give you another chance. Father Time knocked at the door, you know. It's funny that you say this, though, because when I talked about this fight with Coach, with a bread man, he said the same thing. He said, yo, like, if, if 
Cam Bosas wins this fight, William Cepeda and their team in Golden Boy are going to go that route. They're going to go straight to Cam Bosas the same way Devin Haney went straight to Cam Bosas. You believe that? That 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 fight, how does that fight play out with the William Cepeda and, and Cam Bosas? I, I, I think I'm going to roll with Cepeda on that one. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and why you say that? Is it the size? The What is it? He, 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 he just, he's a bit bigger than um, um, Cam Bosas and stronger. And he, he, I think he's relentless style will uh, break him down, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, he can't keep him off from him. I mean, Cam um, Bosas can't keep him off from him. He don't have to pop, you know? Okay. So, so that's like a tailor made situation for uh, Cepeda. Yeah. Now, say if Lomachenko happens to take that fight from from Cambosis, right? Um, is that that stylistic matchup more confusing? Is it more competitive with a Lom? Cepeda. And you still go with Cepeda. Yeah. Mm. Mm. If, if Cambosis was the winner, it, it won't be by much. He might get it by the skin of his teeth. You know what I mean? Yeah. Father Time is there. It ain't going. He ain't going nowhere. Mm. So, getting into uh, one of these questions here, uh, we got here Skitter. Thank you for the comment. What are your thoughts on Shakur not being able to get the fight? So, Shakur got the WBC, right? Um, you know, Tank got the WBA Super. You know, we have, um, they're going for the IBF route. They don't have a title, Cepeda's team. Um, them putting themselves in, winning that fight, gave them an eliminator to fight Cam, the winner of Cambosis and Lomachenko. In your behalf, what would what do you think about what the comment that he said as far as Shakur not getting the fight, but the business side of what's going on at 135? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, if there's a belt opportunity, I would get that belt opportunity first. Get it, get the ABCs in my hand. You know. Mm -hmm. Now, now he can't be denied. You know. Yep. Cause like, I'm like we said, right. some people need belts, some people don't. Right. If he get that belt, then at some point somebody will have to unify somewhere, and that means he's automatically in the picture. You know? Right. Right. Great answer on that. Great answer on that. So, um. On that co-main event, we have uh, Floyd Schofield, right? Um, another step up, another big gash on his face. Speak upon the performance. You know, his father's being outspoken to try to push his son up there. He's highly ranked as well. What do you think about also Golden Boy and what they're trying to do with his future? They're promoting him, but is it too fast, Kenny? I, I like uh, Schofield. Um he got a lot of knockouts. He needs to fight so he can get them rounds in. Even though he got a bunch of knockouts. He can, um, right now, he's leaving in his first. He coming from way back here with a lead hook. He got, and that's why he getting them hit cuts because he, you know, collides with people. He got to settle down a little bit, get, get his jab back, get, get back on his spots. He's strong, you know what I mean? But take your time, you know, let it happen naturally. Don't force it, you know what I mean? Get, get back on his, get back behind his jazz. But right now, he, he he was a little reckless his last couple of fights. That's why he gets the cuts and stuff. Yeah. When you see a father and son relationship like that, um, you know, working, but in the same time, um, you know, we see that Ronnie Shields, a great trainer in the corner, uh, when it's time for fight time. Do you feel like sometimes when you see certain situations like that? They're not necessarily spending enough time with the actual lead trainer, the guy that's going to be presenting the the actual information in the corner. Obviously, building that chemistry as well. Like, what do you see in in, in that type of situation? I'm not in their camp, you know. I don't know who's illegal, you know what I mean. I don't know how they, I don't know how they operate, you know. Sometimes people put a uh, household name trainer in the corner just for recognition. It doesn't mean that trainer really, really working with. Her. I see that all the time. Do you think about that with with Freddie Roach and Mungia right now? I don't know. You know, Mungia was uh, what he his trainer was the great Eric Morales. Oh yeah, yeah. Sometimes they put somebody in the in the corner, you know, 
hoping that they, if it goes to the decision to lean their way because who they have in their corner and stuff like that. But it don't. You just gotta fight when you get in there, man. This shit don't matter, you know. But I, I ain't in. The, I'm not in Schofield's camp, so I don't know. You know who the lead man is in his camp, you know. Right. And right. what reason they put you know the, the other trainer in his corner. Him against um him against uh Abdullah Mason in one year. Say if it happens in one year. I don't see it happening, but in your thoughts. Man, right now, I got Abdullah Mason knocking that number three. You know? Tank to call and Abdullah Mason right now. I like that kid. The whole family, man. Let's make boxing great again, you know? Absolutely, the the Mason family is great. Yeah, I like I like uh, I feel uh Abdullah Mason right now in that fight. He can't jump in. He can't. Schofield can't jump in like that with with Mason. Mm. He can't. Just catch him in between all those jumps. But you know, boxing is room with you the way going stuff. They both he got room to work. So by another year, anything can happen. You know. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, here's another question here on the comments here. Uh, you think Derek James is gonna cash out on this Garcia fight, then go separate ways? Um, when or lose he's gonna cash out, but I don't think that's his plan. You know, he 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 got a, he's going in to try to get you know, Devin out of there, you know. He's working. What you see? Out. Have you seen any of those clips? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your thoughts on it? I think uh, behind the scenes, Doug, Doug James is not going to not train them. They're working hard, man. You know what I mean? Behind the scenes. It, of course, they're going to throw some stuff out there just to sell a fight. Have people talking. Ryan Garcia is anywhere. Well, scenes, what part you hard. talk about, Kenny? The part that... With, 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 with <laughs> The little things that Ryan do, hitting the bag all crazy and light and soft and stuff. No, come on, Doug. that's cap, right? Doug James smarter than that. They working hard, man. So you think that they're overselling it and making it seem like they're not ready, but in reality they're ready. They gonna be ready, hell yeah. Mm. Hell yeah. And, uh, and 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 and, and um, Devin Haney, they working hard too. You know? Yeah. I do know. It, it, Devin Haney can hurt Ryan if he don't keep... Ryan got to have him putting that chin in the air. And if Devin come with that... He got this wicked right hand he throws sometimes. Devin, if he catch Ryan with that shit, he, he can really you know, get Ryan in some trouble. But then Ryan got that power, so the fight is going to be a hell of a fight, man. It's going to be a hell of a fight. I see certain things that they've kind of like fixed on as far as... You know, keeping the rear hand here while throwing the jab instead of, I mean, throwing the hook and, and not bringing it down. Like, he's actually keeping it here yeah. and, and catching and throwing the hook. So, using the hook for other ways and and, and other and throwing the jab to set the hook. You know, hook off the jab. Well, I'm going to stick with the game plan, man. You know, and both of them, it, they, they, they've been rattling fights, so, you know. Who do you who do you feel like got like the the bigger you know when when you hear like Devin say yo you gave up already your heart and and they kind of look at towards the tank fight when we all know that tank got two bazookas you know what I mean and then you're talking about the man's heart I feel like tank does that with everybody so Come to the pain, the infliction. You know what I mean? He didn't give up. His body can't take can't take it from tank. Can't take it from tank. You know. Mm-hmm. I pause his heart. Um, Devin and and and, and Rod, uh, Ryan had, a, you know, a good background in the amateurs, so they, they got heart. They saw many styles face many many fighters, so you can't say they don't have heart. It take heart to go to the amateurs too, you know. So both of them got heart. And then this, a lot of times people get heart and guts mixed up. Heart and guts. Yeah, I think 
Ron have more guts than Devin, but both of them have heart. They both, they they only there's only one thing that that's similar to the guts and the heart. They both get you paid in this sport. Yeah, both of them going to the bank no matter what. You know, facts. Ten years down the line, everybody been up forgot about them. Them boys be living up and on a hill somewhere. Mm-hmm. Feeding their horses. You know what I mean? Big facts. Big facts. Um. So now, uh. What do you think about as far as some of the things that Ryan has been saying that could be true, but also bringing those words into a fight camp, kind of being on the internet a lot more in this camp than I've ever seen in my life? If it's true, man, it's crazy. I mean, it's something needs to be done about it. But at the same time, he could be getting his fan base up. Both people favor him in a fight. You know what I mean? It's hard to tell. It really is. That, that shit do go on in this world, you know? <laughs> but um, why wait till a fight to pull out? If you want to do something about it, it don't have to be on TV. It can be behind the scene, you know what I mean? Right. It don't have to be doing this fight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. After the fight is over, keep keep working at it, whatever the problem is, you know? 100%. So, um, some changes have been made on the March 30th card. A pullout from Keith Thurman, an injury, a bicep injury, and Fandoro filling in. But this wasn't a title fight. Now, this is a unification fight. Um, also, Crawford has been spoken. He wants to exercise his mandatory uh, to uh, go up and wait and, you know, challenge the winner. What do you think about all that information that has been brought to us, I would say, two days ago? Man, um, for, for Tim Zhu, he's been training for, for uh, what's his name? Um, Keith Thurman, but also Fondora was on the card. He was on the undercard, so he was ready. He been training for Keith Thurman, and all of a sudden he getting somebody six five to run out the whole Southpaw too. The whole camp was a waste. You know what I mean? So he got to make some adjustments, some real quick adjustments. And far door coming off a KO loss, some fights can bounce back from a KO loss, some can't. You know, so I think it's gonna be a good fight. So we're ten days out. Is there is there enough time? You know, they said that they already flew in the sparring I mean, yesterday. They both been in the gym training. They just gotta make the adjustments. I mean, that's what that's what boxing is about. You know, you, you sometimes you got you just gotta be ready for that short notice. Like back in the day, Tim Timothy Bradley, he got a title shot because somebody fell out. He took the fight and got on, and he didn't look back. It shit happens, you know. But I think um, Fondor. He got something to prove because of coming off the KO loss, you know. And I'm going to rock with him in that fight. But once times Crawford coming to picks this fool, <laughs> he going to be here be times Crawford or Tim Zoo. But I you're... mean, uh, Fondor or Tim Zoo. Times Crawford going to be a uh, super welterweight champion. So, so that being said, right, like we got that information right after we found out that Fondora was coming in. Do you feel like the camp looked at it like um, they were going to do it anyways? Or they they were like, because that, that news was legitly the next day that he wants the, the winner of that fight. It's hard to tell. Cause, because nobody knew his elbow or whatever was going to go out, you know? Unless it was some lot of rumors was going around. People might have been hearing some things, you know? But shit happens, man. I, I think we we we've heard that this zoo and, and Crawford fight was boiling up either way, you know. Yeah, but he can't mess with Crawford. Crawford stop too. Does he stop Fondora too? Yeah, he stop both of them. Kinda, I'm kind of interested in wanting to see Fondora and Crawford a little bit more. <laughs> 
Von Doe can crack too, man. A lot of people don't know he can crack a little bit. Even though he got a thin frame, he can crack. So you think, you know, obviously Tim Zeus coming into this fight thinking he's the bigger puncher. Um, I mean, he probably is. Uh, what do you, what do you think about, you know, the actual matchup? Like, you know, do you think that Fondora could, could get him out of there? Or, or, cause I don't see him outboxing him, right? Fondora really ain't using his out, his I, I size. It's going to go like, uh, when he fought, um, Lubin. Yeah. He, he going to get caught and then he going to wake up and he going to catch him. I think he's gonna punish. He's gonna punish Tim Zoo, man. They gonna, they gonna stop it. Ooh, Fondora, Sebastian Fondora punishing Tim yeah, Zoo. He gonna get up. He gonna get the upper hand. So you, you think he kind of like when him saying yes, uh, for two weeks' notice, you think that they didn't put no energy and thought into it. They just yes, yes. Let's take it. We got this. Mm. I like it. I like it. Roly and Cruz, bro. Roly and Cruz. Roly, I like the the videos. He bought a Chihuahua. <laughs> uh, what you think about the matchup, man? The guy that you've been across the ring, both of them. He, he, he did the same thing with Tank. He bought this little thing and, and did it and you know, busted up. He did the same thing with him that he's done with um, Cruz. And, but Cruz going to get him. I think so, too. I like I like uh, Rolly's power in the fight. But if, it, if, if, if you don't knock Cruz out, it's a wrap. Do you, do you think he's coming in with this fight with energy, though? Like, you, Or you think he's going to come in there, you know, with the same Tank Davis nightmares coming into... Barroso's nightmares right after that. I think he's coming in with, 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 with energy, but he, he allergic to left hooks, man. It's like, there's something that's going on upstairs when he get hit with that left, he just falls apart. Well, Cruz got a left hook, too. Right. Cruz got a left hook, too. Um, Obviously, looking at the fight with Barroso, um... You know, he he was able. The younger Roley was able to move laterally and, and create space and and dictate when he wanted to uh to throw combinations. Um, the fight with the premature stoppage, though, right? Correct. Tony Weeks, baby, Tony Weeks. Right. Um, that that's what I'm saying. Like, do you feel like it's going to be a similar style, like a similar fight, than, like that? Yeah. yeah. With a younger dog, though. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And the pressure, the pressure gonna be on the ref because the last few fights have been a lot of premature, premature stoppages, so the ref can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Who got more to lose in this fight? Shit. Both of them in pretty good position. You know. I feel like the. I feel like the. I mean, Cruz has a lot more losses than than than. Than Roley, and in the same time, you How know. Many Hold on. They don't have no more than two, right? Um, I got you. I thought he had two losses, Tank and somebody else. I got you. Pippo, Cruz, Box, Rec. He lost two times and got one draw. He lost to Tank. And he lost to Luis Montano Alvarez. Right. He got two losses. Yeah, he got two losses. So pretty, pretty close. Yeah. Is it that he had. He had one draw, and he had a lot, like, his last couple fights were kind of controversial, what it was, really. Um, but you like, you, so you like Cruz in the fight? Yeah, I like, I like Cruz. Does that fight go the distance? Nah. Somebody, somebody, it's, it's going to be one of the reference fights, man. In the alley, one of the alley fights, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. One thing about that guy, Danny, he can crack, man. Now, knowing that the main event 
had a slight change um, knowing that this was a pay-per-view, the opener of Amazon Prime. Um, did you like the fight more before? Do you like the fight more now? You know, the card itself. Because now you got Mendoza on the card now as well. Yeah, F- filling yeah, in I'm for Fondora's spot. Yeah, that's the same. Now it's a title fight too. Yeah, yeah. There's actually two it's actually two title fights now. So there was no title fights to that two makes, that makes it better, you know? <laughs> right. That makes better, better. I I I I kinda of, I'd rather see Fondor and um and um to Zoo as to this other guy that got hurt, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that fight better. You like that fight better. Yeah. Um, and you say Crawford gets them both. Yeah, Crawford gets them both, man. Now, we have Canelo Alvarez press conference yesterday. No disrespect, but as far as I'm concerned, Canelo is retired, man. Boom. Big bombs. Drop the mic. Talk your shit. Big You're not happy with the Mungia fight, it seems like. How the fuck are you not going to fight your three-year mandatory? Come on, man. So, Next. 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 Peep, peep game, Kenny. Peep game, because I know that press conference. What were you saying? He straight dodged the Mexican monster for three years, man. So, for the non-speaking, non-Spanish-speaking people, I feel like most of that press conference was basically Spanish. So, um... They asked Canelo, um, you know, about the fight. It's on, you know, the 4th of Mayo of, of May, basically Cinco de Mayo, Mexican versus Mexican um, showdown. While he's speaking upon Mexican and Mexican, in his mind, he remembers him saying, I will not fight another Mexican. So he, he went and said, the reason why I choose Munguia is because he has been very respectful and very professional. Throwing shots, I believe. I thought he was throwing shots at Benavides. What you thought? Yeah, that's, uh, that's, why, that's why he said it. What do you want Benavides? Benavides, that's just him, you know? He grew up in a different part of the world. Shit, that's his character. You can't just have that man talk nice. He probably, he probably scared of him. Mm. That's- that's his skin Canelo, you know? Be nice and I'll fight you. Get the hell out of here. It's crazy. Get the hell out of here. You want to take the meanness out the kid? So he's saying if, if you know, Benavides wasn't professional probably because of two different things. The 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 cocaina was one, and he, he was outspoken like a man. Yeah, I did it. I'm done it. I'm not doing it no more. Uh, there was a man about it, confronted himself. Then, and then we talk about uh, also, remember, uh, he was overweight at one point in time. So I think that's the professionalism that he was speaking upon. And then when he said uh, the respectful part, I was thinking his dad, like his dad adding the pressure, maybe saying certain things about Canelo. Yeah. Uh, you talking about Benavidez's dad, right? Yeah, senior. I didn't hear. I didn't hear everything he said, but I caught like some of it. You know, I did hear Canelo say something about the only thing he brings to the ring is, is twenty five extra pounds. Mmm. Said that about Benavidez. Mmm. But see, Canelo, Canelo brings twenty five extra pounds against all the former welterweights that he fought. A lot of guys that was at the end of the road, they shit, they were walk away fighters. So what's the difference? Big facts. Big facts. Um, so this fight, how do you see it happening? Do you think it's a real threat? Um I got it. It's, it's gonna be a good good fight. I just got um Canelo counter punching the kid all day. Kid, that's an, he's another kid keeps that chin. He catch a lot of right hands too. Um, 
Mungia. Mungia. He catch a lot of right hands and 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 Canelo will count his ass all night. Now he might be able to rough Canelo up like Bivol did, you know, even though he's not as big as Bivol, but his style, you know, he he can rough Canelo up. You know? What would you have to say to the people that say, Hey, Mungia stop rider, uh Canelo couldn't stop rider? He gotta punch his chance, man. I might watch it just because, you know, he got a chance of beating Canelo. You think he can knock Canelo out? Nah. No, he can wrap his ass up the way so he can take them rounds, you know? Canelo will have to fight this kid, though. He, he, he gonna definitely have to fight him. So we're gonna see. I just hope he's not taking a dive for Canelo. Because in the press conference, he was too fucking friendly. You know, well, uh, what what made you feel like he was being too friendly? Like, hey, I uh, thank you, Canelo, for you know giving me this opportunity type of deal. Yeah, man, I'm not even hear all that shit. It's fight time. Hmm. Hmm. It's fight time. So you feel like it? W- listening to it, you felt like he's there for the opportunity, just like mostly all the other guys are. Yeah, he might. He might. He might be taking a damn dive, man. Mm. I, I, in press cops, it didn't seem like you want to fight. You know? Mm-hmm. But any other press cops, his is, is ass going off the hook. Why, mm. why switch up now? Mm. You know? It's crazy. But Ye- time will tell. Time will tell. Time will tell. Uh, David Benavidez, big fight. Uh, Alexander Bolzwick or something like that. Uh, only lost to um, Better Beef, Canelo Alvarez, three-year sparring partner. Just knowing that, th- those facts right there, do you feel like, hey, Benavidez and Canelo possibly will happen? I, I think I think Canelo will, will just duck him. He will duck him. Find a new excuse after a new excuse and then retire. Yeah, he will duck him. Mm. He will duck him. I'm gonna tell you the fight that's gonna be interesting though. Um, um, Ryu and Edwin uh, De La Santos. David Morales and um, Boogie Man. The one just the one um, the Mexican monster just beat. Oh, um, Andres. Yeah, he he fighting the, um David Morales. I heard. I heard they were saying something about it being on your under your card as well. That's gonna be a hell of a fight. It that I spoke upon this fight before, like before. So you tell me if do you like that fight and 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 if so, who do you favor in that fight? I like both of them, but I really think he's gonna be back in the picture, man. He's gonna he, he gonna pull it off. Boo boo. Boo boo back. Boo boo back, man. Boo boo back. I like Morales, but right now, not yet. Boo boo. Boo boo can fight, man. Mm hmm. Morales ain't gonna rough him up like. Um, you mean Morel, right? Morel. Yeah, yeah. He's not, he not gonna rough him up like, like the Mexican monster did, you know? The only way he's gonna be him is with a single shot, knock him out, and I don't, I don't have that happen. Mmm. Boo boo back, man. This fight right here gonna put him right back in the limelight. So this fight, this fight means a lot. If this fight does happen, though, it means a lot for this both guys. Fight, this fight for Boo Boo is do or die. Mmm. Do, do or die. Yeah. So He's you like? I, I haven't seen any signs of. You know, we talk about father time. Even in the fight with with, with with Boogie Man, I didn't see Father Time. I just seen him over well by a stronger, bigger, stronger guy. Mm-hmm. But up until then, he, he has never shown any signs of aging in the ring. Even though he's 35, like 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 uh, the lightweight we were just talking about. So, uh, do you... Do, do you think how how does how does uh Boo Boo pull pull this away, pull this off? 
stops. Boo Boo stops morale. That's what he's gonna be, man. Boo Boo back, man. Mm, damn. I, I, now, if Mirage, I like Dave Mirage. He pull it off, man. He got a lot. He got something. He got some work to do. Big old facts. To pull it off. It ain't gonna be no cakewalk. Big facts. I hope everybody not going off the um, Mexican monster fight. You know, because Mirage don't don't bring it like that. Mm. I like. Okay, so you, do you right, think right. so? So you don't think that that Morel can box with Boo Boo? He can box, but it is, it's not gonna be like that for twelve rounds. Boo Boo crafty man. He's, uh, Boo Boo's he's slick man. Yeah, he's slick and he's strong too. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a fight. It's gonna be a hell of a fight, man. Yeah, I like it. I like it. You know, put it like this. I got the only way David Morales win is by not by knockout. Morel only gotta, wins by knockout. He gotta knock him out. He gotta knock him out. He gotta knock him out. Yeah. He gotta knock him out. Wow, 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 wow. Don't write Boo Boo off yet, man. The return of Demetrius Boo Boo Andres. You know what that would do to Demetrius Boo Boo Andres? His career beating Morel, and if you say what he he knocks him out, because because right back in the spot, man. Because people are saying he's the the new boogeyman at, at sixty eight now that Dave is gone. Right, right, and then the A, he might get a fight if, with, with Canelo if if he if he stop um Dave Morel. She. He, he'll be like, I know I called him a horrible fighter, but he earned it. <laughs> <You know? clears throat> wow. Wow, wow, wow. I like how this is moving. I really do. Um, You know, if that, and like they said, they're trying to put these big cards together. I think it'll be great. Um, Also, here in the comments here, they say, what's your thoughts on Frank Martin? Dedicated. My guy studying him. You see him on Instagram. You see Coach Kenny on Instagram. Hey, he, he dedicated to the sport. He got a great team, great coach. But I said a few podcasts is back. Not yet. Let him get some more time with his coach. Let him get some more rounds and let him, you know. Tank is a different animal, man. But they feel as though they want it now, so they're going to get it now. <laughs> You know, I like him, though. I like him. What kind of fight you think we're going to get? A uh, very strategic fight. Strategic. Two soft paws going at it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, too. To the electric company. Turn the light. <laughs> So you you say that he's not ready yet. Uh, Calvin says he's not ready yet. Some people say that this is uh, the best opponent in a Tank's resume. What would you What would you have to say about that? Uh, man, a lot of a lot of people don't know. Man, they just don't know. I, I go back to my man, one of my favorite Mexican fighters, Santa Cruz, future Hall of Famer. He my third favorite Mexican in the last 40, 35 years. 40? 40, 40 Sanchez, Sanchez. Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. And Santa Cruz. They, them, whoever don't know about them, they don't know box. Mm. I don't know how you can say uh, 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 Frank Martin is better than Santa Cruz. Mm. Mm. They don't know boxing, man. Mm. They don't know boxing. So, 
you know, you know what it is is that people they'll they'll find like the negatives to see why they don't know the fighters' stats, man. They just look at the person's uh, physique. A six pack don't mean shit in boxing, man. I mm. tell people that all the time. A six pack don't win no fight. You know what I mean? So, you do you think that oh, you think people will give credit for the win? They never give take credit for it. nobody. It, going into the fight, they got Tank losing, but, but Tank beat them. They, they don't give me credit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's just a bunch of hate, hate, hating going on for no reason. Got kid come from nothing to something. He's so goddamn good at what he do. <laughs> People just get upset. But when you good and when you up top, it, this is how it is. That's how it is, man. Yeah. And not everybody knows how to be on, on that that position. No, a lot of people don't know how to handle that position. Barry Russell was an interview the other, other day. He said the tank be losing the rounds and then he get lucky. If a fighter is training, if a fighter is training to, to, to hit you, how the hell is it luck? If you're in the gym training, how can the punch be luck if that's what you're training for? It don't make sense. He, 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 he getting the win, you know? Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, I heard Gary Russell say that the other day, you know? But he, he got a right to his opinion, but there's no such thing as luck if you in the gym training. It's crazy. I guess when, when Roman Tico beat him. Are you, are you talking about uh, the older brother or? Yeah, the one that fought Lomo. Yep. I guess when Lomo beat him, Lomo had lucky body shots then. Mm. It's the, it's the same thing. He got lucky body shots in. It don't make sense, man. When a fighter trained, a fighter got a right to hit you. The underdog got a right to hit to hit you. You know what I mean? It's like when Floyd got cracked by uh, 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 Shane Mosey, he got cracked by uh, the, the guy out of DC. Oh, he cracked for it. This cracking come with the business. Everybody get hit, but it takes a champion to overcome adversity. That's what champions do. People don't know. They don't understand. They don't know what they're looking at. They don't understand. All they want to see is a fight. They don't know what they're looking at. The casual fans. Everybody get hit. I don't care who you are. You gonna get hit in the sport. It's about how you take it. It's how you how you come back from it. That's why some people are champions and some people ain't. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is a get hit, this is a get hit sport. You don't get hit in the fucking mouth, the nose, the hit, the fucking eye, the throat. But, but how you take it, you know? I remember when, um, oh man, anybody that's watching, go back and watch this fight. Zuma Nelson for, uh, what's the first champion Floyd for when he, when, when he, his 11th pro fight? Hernandez? Yeah, Hernandez. Zuma Nelson hit him in his throat. Oh my God, I was gonna die in the ring, man. He started choking and shit. But he, he got fast. That's what fighters do, man. It's a hurt sport. So he hit somebody and say, Oh, Tank got hit in his sparring session. Every time he get hit in his sparring session. You know? Who don't get hit in his sparring session? It's crazy, man. It's different when you in the if you in a if you in a sparring session. And you get beat corner to corner, man, and and, you, and that's different. But when you got two elite fighters sparring each other, both of them are going to get hit. And every time in, in the history of sport, has somebody in that gym, time enough for them. Some guys never even turn pro. They they have amateurs, but they ain't giving that time in some good work. That's boxing. But the casual fans don't know that because they all they ever did was play football or baseball or basketball. They've never been in the ring. Mm-hmm. Shit is different, man. And, and depending on what you favor, like the Mexicans, they like Canelo a lot because of his chin, too. And if you talk about any, nobody talks about Tank's chin. Tank, man, Tank got the best chin in the business. So that's something that is underrated, I think. When it comes to Americans, I think when we talked about Triple G, now nah, you can't knock out Triple G. It's and that he can't. So you favor 
certain fighters for what you want to favor them for. Exactly. Exactly. Um, uh, but nevertheless, uh, you know, I see that a lot of people are starting to, you know, get, get into this fight. Um, I like it. I like that it's two soft paws. Um, I like that, you know, Amazon is going to be, you know, hosting the event. What other things do you like about this matchup itself? I don't want to speak a lot on on, on tank, but <laughs> the excitement, I like the excitement that that that's, that it, that is bringing to the ring. That's what everybody everybody want to see. You know, that's that's what sells. Mm-hmm. But when, when tank fight, something is guaranteed big to happen. I'm gonna leave it at that. Speak. What... Speaking about things that sell, right? Ryan Garcia and uh, Devin Haney's. The, the the seats are not looking too good. Why you think so? Now I got sell. Haney hasn't knocked anybody out in what five years? Yeah. No disrespect, but when the person when the person say I'm gonna watch this fight, ninety nine point nine percent of the people they were watching this fight because they want to see a knockout. Now for us, for 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 two boxing fans, we, I don't have to see a knockout. I like strategic fights to go the distance. As a strategy, I like to watch different strategies because I'm a coach and I know boxing. But everybody that's buying these tickets, that they want to see a knockout. And right now, in the back of their head, I'm gonna save my money. I'm gonna want a tank fight because I want to see a knockout. Knockout sell. No disrespect, but that's what the people. Tyson was the hottest thing in the 80s and the early 90s because not ourselves. So so you think that, so now the way you're saying it to me, I'm, I'm thinking it's like, all right, the guy that throws, yeah, the way you're saying it, I'm, I'm getting, I'm catching it like this. I'm like, all right, Ryan's the one that's doing the knocking out when it comes to between them. But then also, you know, people are wondering what, what everything that Ryan is saying, is this fight even worth paying the paying for it because I want to see a knockout but the guy that that I want to see knock out Haney he don't look like he's himself do you think that's the reason why is what you're saying it, it could be a little bit of both you know okay it could be a little bit of both styles make fights either way I'll make fights so when you put Tank and Ryan you knew what was going to happen Tank every time Tank fights something big is going to happen right guaranteed Mm -hmm. smash the like button ladies and gentlemen we got over 300 people on the live do yourself a favor and hit the like button to improve the visibility of the show i got the one and only coach kenny ellis in the building um what's good with so i haven't spoke to you since they put they they named the streets on, uh, after y'all you know what i mean you got your daughter's name on there you got you and calvin that's god's work man you know um, it's a blessing to be, you know, in that position, you know, I appreciate everything, man. So you talk know. to me when you ride, when you ride to the gym and you see that, how does that, how does that make you feel? I feel great. You know, I mean, you stay looking at it the whole time to see if it's there. I don't, I don't get all excited about nothing in life because that's just me. You, we all here for a reason. We God places where He places, you know. God bless. And He wanted that name up there, so He got it up there. And I appreciate it. I thank Him for it. You know? Yeah, it's, it's nice to see. So how when I'm seeing pictures with you and Calvin in that moment, how how y'all talking when you when this is all happening? I to get it, but it's there, you know. I appreciate it. I appreciate every bit of it. That's what's up, man. I love it. I love it. Um, as far as um, you know, other other guys that you have in this table, you know what I mean? Who got fights coming up? Oh man, um We have uh the Mind Filson, Stacy Salvi, my daughter. We got a couple guys who get to turn over to the pros. So 
we're gonna be pretty busy the rest of the, this year, next year, next twenty years. We got another whole generation. Mm. It, it, boxing is a, is a um, sport that we don't get no downtime. It's all year round. Absolutely. You, know, you I- go, go then you got the babies that'll be pro in four more years, and you know it's nonstop. So when somebody asks me that question. I say that the whole state was is, is next, <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. So everybody's not going to be world champion, but we don't know who it is and who ain't. So we just got to support everybody, you know. Right. And that that's in every gym. That's in every gym everywhere. It, some are going to make it, and some ain't for whatever reason. It depends on the fighters how bad do they want it. They lifestyles in and out of the ring, you know. So whoever won it, we there to support them. Now, uh, Coach, I'm going to ask one more question, and then I'm going to get to the Super Chat. Um, you were in the in the corner with um, uh, Malik Hopkins when he fought Matias? Yeah. So I had um, Buddy McGirt speak upon his experience in the corner when he had his fighter up against him. Can I hear your experience in the corner with Malik Hawkins and Matias? Um, number one, I, 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 I didn't want that fight. Um, he wasn't training. He wasn't training with us at the time. His manager at the time wanted him to do something different. His manager at the time wanted him to change his style up. So much went on with that fight with Malik. You know, I do I always think if Malik would have stayed put, where he, where, where he, you know, where he came up at would have been a different fight. But, um, Matias was a better man that night. You know, he was a better man that night. But Malik, Malik wasn't Malik Hawkins. I know that for a fact, you know. And that's a mistake a lot of fighters make. And, and, you know, you let people, you know, put in your head. You live and you learn, you know. Before stopping the fight, uh, what, what was your, what was your mind at before the, the stoppage? I knew, I knew going into the fight, um, that Malik wasn't himself because his manager took him away from what, what he know, you know, you know, his manager was telling him that, uh, he was saying things like, uh, made up promotion, want to see him, uh, use his jab more because he's six feet tall, he, he wanted to box more, but, you know, we learned later on that none of that was true. It, it, it amazes me how you, you watch somebody like Corral's fight, six feet tall, fight inside, people praise him. Trinidad, five, ten, six feet, fight inside, people praise him, but all of a sudden you get Malik, five, ten, six feet, and Mayweather didn't want to see him use his jab, but none of that was true. We found out later, you know, the manager was, was trying to make him different because of the way his, his structure was. All tall fighters don't use a jab. All fight, tall fighters fight inside, too. F- Fondora. Exactly. He was praying Fondora. But it was, a, it was a lot of shit going on with Malik, man. It was, just, it was, it was crazy. Malik is a good kid. He's back in the gym, though. He's back in the gym. Good kid. Nice. That's yeah. what happens, though. That's boxing, you know? Yeah, I got to get um some of your kids' Matias. stories. What was that? Matias is strong, man. Relentless. Mm-hmm. He's strong. He ain't gonna get it. Matias ain't gonna get his second win to the late round. He, he's strong before he even get his second win, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, take nothing from him. He can fight, man. Yeah, he, he, not, he definitely can. Um... Coach, once again, man, appreciate you for coming on the show. Salute to everybody. We got over 342 people on the live. Uh, Say bye to everybody, Coach, once again. Have a blessed day and stay free. Appreciate you, Coach, man. Well, uh, I'll hit you up real soon, later on today. All right. I'll see you later. Absolutely. Blessings. Blessings, man. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, Coach Kenny Ellis in the building. Coach Kenny Ellis in the building. We are going to be starting up another live just for the people. Um, Call-ins are now available right now. And also, I'm going to be reading that super chat as well. Or HLD, you can come right up in here and uh, say it yourself.
if you have time, HLD. Thank you for the for the donations. Thank you for everybody coming in as well. Um, once again, this is Mill City Boxing, home of the high-level pro boxing media, the fighters channel, the trainers channel, the people's channel. Subscribe to Mill City Boxing on YouTube if you haven't. Um, appreciate for the ones that have supported and, you know, click that subscribe button and all the subscribers. And salute to all my members in the house right now. Salute to y'all. Phone lines are now open, ladies and gentlemen. Phone lines are now open. I don't know why I can't see the people coming in for some reason. But uh, phone lines are now open. HLD. Venga pa acá, venga pa acá, venga pa acá. Habla claro, papi. HLD, Canelo, uh, thank you for the $10. Canelo trolled the hell out of these media fools yesterday. Got them and their opposition fanboys from every corner up in there. Feeling, feelings and to dumb. Even a realize, even to, no, to even realize it, 125 libras, cocaína. 200 mil? Ay, bendito. Ay, bendito. Canelo Alvarez. ¿Qué está pasando, papi? What is it? Is it, is it that the cocaine, cocaína? That, you know, he now he's making weight. David Benavides is now making the weight, Canelo. What is it? Háblame claro. Háblame claro. I'll cash rap you half a band right now, Mill City, if you change the format. Damn. I thought that, Ty, what's going on? What's going on? Smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. Yo, Ty, man, appreciate you, man. I, I don't, I really don't know how to change the format. I'm not going to front. I mean, I can change it to the horizontal look. I can't possibly change it, but Ty, become a member of Mill City Boxing, man. Show the love. The, uh, I don't know if I put the members link up. I didn't put the members link up, but it's up there. We got phone lines are open, ladies and gentlemen. Phone lines are open. Salute to Mill City. What's going on? David, what's going on? Salute, salute, salute. Appreciate, though. Man, 500. Shoot, I haven't had that. Chacho, I haven't seen Edward Charles Cheese in a minute. <laughs> he salutes everybody on the chat. All the members, man. Bam Bam Boogie, Jackie Hernandez, Todo Mundo was goody. Was goody, was goody. So, Great interview with uh, Coach Kenny Ellis. Um, you know, we we talked our talk. Uh, he spoke his mind. He spoke upon Frank Martin. What's his, uh, you know, um, you know what he thinks? What he thinks about it? You starting a new live? Yeah, jump on, jump on, HLD. We we I'm live right now on IG. Tap in. Anybody that want to tap in, talk your talk. Uh, talk about the interview. Talk about what's going on with Canelo Alvarez in that um, press conference yesterday. All that. We need all the smoke. We need this is also the people's channel, ladies and gentlemen. So we need the people to come in and engage into the podcast. All right. So yeah, HLD, venga pa acá, entra, entra, entra. We live, baby. We live on IG and on YouTube, baby. Was goody. Um, there was a lot of respect on that press conference. There was a lot of respect on that press conference. Uh, you're not live on IG. Yeah, I am. I am on the Mill City Boxing page. Jump on. Don't tell me it's not showing everybody that I'm on. Because I know I noticed we're telling followers that you started a live. So it's like it's kind of like, I don't know. But jump on right now. You'll see me on. Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. We are live right here on IG. We have panels are wide open. But go to the channel, Papa. HLD, go to the channel. You'll see me. Entra, entra. I got one, I got a couple people on here. And I think it's the signal, man. Today and yesterday, the IG live was tweaking. I got some news too. I can't even talk about. I had a, a one of y'all favorite fighters hit me up last night. Eight IG closed my account. Oh damn. Sorry about that, bro. Sorry about that. HLD, you just all you got to do is just go to the the, uh, the profile, all right? Uh, salute to everybody on the live. Salute to everybody on the live. So, um, I think that Mungir, he's very happy for the opportunity. I mean, once that press conference went on, I don't know if y'all see, if any of y'all follow him on IG, he went on live. 
He was capturing the moment. I understand. Uh, I see some people don't like the fight. I see, I don't know why. I don't know why people don't see that as a good fight. You know what I mean? That is an entertaining fight. I understand we want to see the best fight the best. HLD, see, I see you, HLD. I see you, bro. Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. So the IG hating on me or something like that? They're not showing me that I'm on? Like, what's good? It's huge fight in Mexico. It is, Larry. Larry, listen, it's a huge fight in Mexico, man. That's a huge fight in Mexico. Um, You got a lot of Mexicans that really support Munguia. And, and we already know how we already know how the Mexican fanboys of, of Canelo Alvarez, you know what I mean? You know, Canelo could be God today. You know what I mean? But he's an amazing fighter, and I'm not going to say he's not. Because is he one of my favorites? Yes, he is. Canelo Alvarez. La Canelo. Let's go, HLD. Donde tu esta, papi? What's goody? Now it's your fault. It's Now it's your fault that you're not here. Um, Damn, the signal here is horrible. I think a lot of Americans don't like it, but Mexicans love it. A lot of people riding with Mungia. Absolutely. Absolutely. I like it. They just, uh, they, the experience level, there is levels to it, right? Because, you know, Mungia has fought in lower opposition, very lower opposition, if you want to compare to Canelo. So really, the what he's really bringing into the table is the youth, uh, the punch output, the stamina, um, Punch placements. That's what he's bringing to the table. Canelo Alvarez bringing counter shots. It's not working, but HLD, keep trying. We'll, we'll get you on here. Okay, I think sometimes I put, I, I, I sent it, and then, and then you leave, and then you come back. So I think we're playing like, you know, I think we're playing hot, hot potato. You feel me? Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. Um, all the Spanish channels are motivated for this fight. Absolutely. Absolutely. I like the I like the fight. I like the fight. Do I want Benavides more? Yes. But do I like this fight? Yes. Do I think that uh Mungia is ready due to a John Ryder fight? Hell no. Hell no. You can't trick me. You can't trick me. You can't trick me on that one. I'm just saying that I want to see a guy actually fight Canelo. I want to see you fight toe to toe. Even if you can't last, I still want to see you, you know what I mean, do your thing. HLD in la casa, HLD. See, HLD, you just got to take it easy. Coño, what's going on, baby? Right, Good morning. You know, you know when you got to IG, see, like right now, I even hear everything kind of like like robotic. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but uh, but when you go to IG, you you know you pop up on the top. You know you're live. I'm like okay, you pop, you go right in there. It doesn't show you live on, you know on the on the top stories. It doesn't show you. And and for, to and and, and for show. some reason too, it's not showing me comments. Ah, boy, I, I, no, I'll go I, was writing, I, I was writing on IG and, and I noticed you know, you weren't reading. Because there's nothing coming up. The only thing that I can see coming up is messages. Like you could put like a private message. Yeah, no, bro, you got it. You got too much of a good thing going on, and we got we got to get this fixed. with the internet and the signal, anything can happen. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 and that's our victim, but like you know. If people are over there on... Because the only thing that I could say is that with the, with this podcast, you just never know who's going to come in that's an actual fighter. You don't know who's going to no, come in that's an actual yeah, coach. That's that we, and that's due to sure IG. A, I'm sure there's a way to, to, to merge this better, man, so that you... Because it, it has got to be a way. I'll probably do some homework when I get when I get a chance and I see if I can... Whatever. I, I'm I'm open... But I just the only thing that I don't want, I don't want to take away uh no, 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 no. You got, the, the call-ins. I don't want to take away the call-ins. Right, right. Because it's also the people's the channel. Your your access your the access you have, uh, and I get it, the access that you have 
is 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 very open and primarily through IG. That's where you get your most connections. Well, that's where I started. I yeah. Right, right, and I get it. it but but we're gonna have to learn a way how to get that trans translated over to the YouTube side so that it becomes easier for 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 everyone you know. Ah, let me go. Let now, Ty. Ty said he'll give me $500 on the spot to change the format. And you know how yesterday you told me that the format was good? I, I don't even know what I did different. That's what I was starting out. I don't think you even know how this is looking when we see it. We don't like this format that's today. Nobody likes it, man. Ty, Ty, looks Ty looked at the format and said, y'all give you $500, nigga. Quita eso, coño. Nobody likes it, man. Uh, you know, I don't know why, uh, how you get into that, but... You know, you gotta, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it off the I'm gonna try to figure it out. Cause I'm, I'm. Yo, man, I, I love what Canelo did yesterday, bro. He trolled the hell out of everybody. That's uh, what he did. Habla, <laughs> habla. He knows habla. this shit talking out there. He knows all the bullshit that Benavides can't been doing. And you don't hear him barking back. You don't hear. So, hey, today's the day that I'm, a, it's media day. I wanna fuck with all y'all. And I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you where it hurts you or you don't like it. Where it's gonna bother you? That's what he did, guys. He's smart, bro. That motherfucker knows what he's doing. He I'm knows lying. exactly what he's doing, bro. Talk his shit. At the same time, he spoke facts. He spoke facts. What the fuck is Benavides bringing to the table for him, bro? Diablo. What is he bringing to the table? Diablo. Compared to Mungia, if you aren't breaking down, what is he bringing? Tell me. Tell me what is he bringing to the table? Because we know it ain't no 60 million. If fucking Samsung got no 60 million, 50. They don't have exactly what he said. They don't have shit to offer. They never offer. Al Heyman never offer. Mira, so I seen the interview. Did you see Espinosa's interviews yesterday too? No, I didn't see that. Because he said that it's still a, that there's there's a possibility for that well, that fight happening. And guess what? Crawford's is still a possibility. Right. It's all a possibility. Of course, that's not. He's not bullshitting. That's. But what does that mean? <laughs> but then, what <laughs> happened to the two hundred million, though? And so because he's trolling. Because he, 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 everybody thinks it's so out of context. Right before that, he's talking about what the fuck are they to offer me? Because he's telling you, Samson, you a broke ass motherfucker. What are you to be offering any money? You can't offer shit. Tú no tienes. Yeah. No hay dinero. Now, 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 if you want to offer it, well, I know what you could bring. You could bring your 25 pounds of fat ass that you are. You could then bring on top of that la cocaína. And then after that, you know, if there's a promoter out there, so then, hey, you know, if there's a promoter out there that wants to pay the 150, 200 million, bring it. Because it ain't Samson who got no money to offer anything. Yeah, now? It's true. He's trolling, bro. That's all he's doing, bro. Everybody in their feelings. And he knows exactly what he said with the Mexican comics, bro. Yeah, I love him. Canelo, Canelo has turned like a heel out there, bro. You're like, fuck it. Yeah. I'm going to fuck with all you guys. <laughs> yeah, Joe Green, I can see I can see the comments when you put it in a private comment. That's the only way. I don't know what's going on, but it's pissing me off. I ain't going to hold you. You're talking uh, about an IG, right? Yeah, uh, Joe, Joe on IG, he, he wanted to throw some questions and stuff, so he wanted to know if we could see it, and I told him where he's sending them, I can't I can see them. Uh, Palo gente, you know, so that, that I want to get into the conversation as well. It's a good fight, though, man. This one, I don't care. I think it's a good fight. It's it's a very good fight. I You know, I'm not saying Mugia is... is 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 the best of the best. I'm not saying that for by no stretch of the imagination. But the kid does come, comes for war, and he's proven that. Better and, fight than and, Charlo. Oh, you know that for a fact. It's a better fight than Charlo than it was with Ryder. Uh, it's gonna be a better fight than Plant. It's gonna yes, be a better fight yes. Than, I love that you said that. I love that you, you said know? that. It's a it's better fight be a than plan. That was a good fight. And it was a good <laughs> fight. And right, exactly. I'm not saying that. Let, let me make sure. I'm not saying that the plan fight was shitty. Plan, plan did the best of his abilities. And you know he did. But HLD he, came here to cook. That's what I'm talking about. But pero, pero Mugia is, is, is he, he's, he's, he's twice the dog of, of plan. And he's battle test proven. 
and then and, and then he hits you like if you hit him hard, he wants to hit you hard back. Caleb Plant was like, "Oh, you hit me, and let me tap, 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 tap." <laughs> Boom! Oh, tap, tap, tap. And then that shit don't last too long. Plank, he got hit so hard, he ran, he ran by himself towards the opposite goal. <laughs> but uh, but Mugir's gonna come to fight. I think it's gonna be a great fight until, you know, while it lasts. I mean, I, I you know, I, I would, I, I, I could see Canelo uh, stopping Mugir. Uh, in the in the mid to late rounds, I see that happening, and uh, but it's gonna be a good fight. You know what I mean? I think it's gonna be a great fight. So uh, you know, I, how much different than it is with Benavides? I think that you know a lot of people got the the, the hype machine on top of Benavides above and beyond what he really is. But uh, I'm not saying he's bad, but I'm just saying that you know he, he's not a Canelo. He's never been a Canelo. Oui. And, and okay. so you know. Uh, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with that fight. But I, hey, I'm okay with it. But I, like I said, I think Canelo what he did was smart. He got everybody talking all in his on their feelings. You know, yes, his media. Yeah. He's he's working hand in hand great with his media team. He is man, and he doesn't come out right. You not from today, not from yesterday. You're not gonna hear nothing from Canelo. And everybody gonna be talking, and then on the next media call, he's gonna say some more shit. He hears what everybody's saying. He has, you know, he's gonna be that motherfucker to talk that. Talk whatever it is to piss people off. <laughs> he don't care right now, man. And it's true, he doesn't. He really does not have anything else to prove. Mm. Uh, but he's still fighting, you know, amongst the best of the competition that's available. I mean, I don't know what what can be said. Just because we don't get the benefit of fight, which I do want to see. Claro. Uh, I do want to see it, but uh, that's one fight out of how many that that he's already given us. That you know what I mean? So. Uh, I, I think so. I think something in the possibility is, is is for September. I don't. I really see that happening. This is a one fight deal. We'll see what happens in September. But for now, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, you know, I will enjoy this 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 media fight. Mm, mm. Um. In other news, right? Que lo que hay, que bon hay. Ah, man, I wanna. I wanna say some shit today, bro. Because I was. Yeah. I want to say some shit so bad today, bro. But I'm going to keep this shit private. But this shit, I want to say something. What how, about, how about this? How about this? And what division are we talking about? 135, bro. 135, ah. bro. One of y'all favorite fighters, bro. One of y'all favorite oh, fighters at 135. <sighs> Does he have a fight coming up? Um, is it is scheduled? No. Oh, it's not scheduled. And that's it. HLD, now that's it. Because <laughs> you go in it hard. You're going to find out who it is. You're going to know who it is. <laughs> Until I continue. So it's not scheduled. It's not scheduled. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's like I'm trying to do my job. I'm trying to do my job. And if y'all say something on the interview and I put it on the title, don't get mad at me. Just don't get mad no, at me. No, you no. said I, it. The, the thing is, if you, if, if, I, I hope, I hope uh, the the people on the you know on the business side, you know, your coaches, your trainers, your your fighters, uh, if 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 they put it out on themselves, right, out there in the public or some in some you know uh, form, then it's 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 game for you to report. I mean, I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with that. And my guy, you know uh, who you are, you know who you are, and I did not put no words in your mouth. I sent you the video and everything, and you, and, 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 and I support you. I support you if you are watching, because I know you watch a lot of the stuff. So, but oh, come on, man! I'm just yeah, trying to, I mean, I'm just trying to do my job. That's it. Sometimes they can't expect you to be. Uh, I mean, it's a balance, you know. What I mean, to be, to be, on, on, on. On a respectable code with your with your people, right? Mm-hmm. With, with the connections you have. Um, so so you know, not but not 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 every time I can you just you know play it off. Uh, it, it, there's a balance between that, and if it's public already or 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 something to that effect, then it is what it is. You can't you can't be you know trying to trying to hide the news or, or trying to not exasperate it. I mean, we'll 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 be on. we'll be doing an interview. And when we finish the interview, you'll know exactly who I'm talking about. 
Está bien, está bien. We'll, we'll, figure, we'll figure this out. But is it uh, But are we trying to? Is it because they're trying to make a fight, or, or is it an accusation? Mm. I'm telling you right now, this shit's hot. This shit's mm. hot. That's all I'm gonna say. Like this shit is. This is more recent than anything that's other re that's recent. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. No more. Yeah. That's it. That's it. My nah. My nah. I got. I got more info for y'all next week. All right. Next week. Next week. That's it. Yeah. 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 But like I said, I rock with the boxing community. I want the best for the boxers. I want, you know, I, I can care less of what the fans would say bad about me as long as I can keep the relationships, um, be real, and that's it. Honestly, I don't really care about throwing my opinion out there as far as giving you guys the best content. Like, that's my job is that, you know, and if y'all don't see that, then... You know what I like about about, about, about and, and I hope you keep it the way you're doing it. It's one thing that you have your opinion, right? Mm -hmm. But it's another you having a channel with such a big platform that you then want to influence your opinion to change minds of others to make them think, hey, this is the way you got to think. Right. You, you see what I mean? That's different. You, you know, you're not you're not trying to push that. Oh, if you don't think my way, you're a dumbass. You're not doing that. No, I'm not trying to be a leader. I'm not trying to be a leader. I'm, 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 I am who I am, but I'm not yeah, trying to be. Hey, you have your opinion, and that's and, uh, yes, uh, yeah. and I respect that. But now, if you come out and you start like, oh, you don't know, you know, it, it, you don't, you know, you start, you know, challenging the, the opposition to the point that's because if you don't think the way I do, you're just a retard. And it's you know, like you don't do that. It, it, it's like if I massage their back a little bit, slow down. It's okay. I'm massaging their back so I can put the landing strip of wax paper ready to go soon so I can go, ah, for all y'all to see. Yeah, you know? But y'all don't see it. Y'all don't see it. It's all right, though. It's all right. You know exactly what I, what I meant to is that you, 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 you have your own opinion. You're, you're reporting the facts as, from the horse's mouth as best as you can because you bring these people on, right? Mm -hmm. but, but you're not, you're not an activist. You're not act. You're not an activist to push an agenda or a narrative. You're just. It's my opinion. That's it. But what's your take? You know what I mean. You're 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 open to whatever it takes. Everybody else's has, and that's that's commendable. It's not like you're you're in somebody's pocket. Yeah, you know. Um, I think my most common real rap. The most common comp question I get in my comments is Mills. Who should I bet on? Like. <laughs> That's my main question, really. Like, yo, come on, what's the numbers for today? What's the numbers for today? And I'm not saying I'm always right, but oh yeah, what what? I, uh, it was Coach. Who was on right now? Coach Ellis was it? Coach Kenny. Kenny. Kenny yeah, Ellis. Was, yeah. Uh, I mean the I mean the, the yesterday's press conference. Uh, what, what did they expect out of Canelo and and, and Mungia? Uh, if you've always seen Mungia. That's who he is. He's always been that way. You know, you know what, I mean? you, you know, what do you think about Coach Kenny saying that there's too much respect given, and I hope that Mungia don't take a die for Canelo? I think he's full of shit with that. Oh. I'm just calling it the way that I think that, that's a... That's, Dale, that's this a is the people's channel because, as well. Because Mungia, Mungia, Mungia always comes to war. Always comes to war. And Canelo has never given anybody a pass. Mm. So what are, what are we talking about? And then, I mean, that's just on what we see, right, on, uh, as far as the ring. But then we're, we, we we got two Mexicanos, bro. What the fuck, bro? You know, you got to put some respect on that culture because them motherfuckers come. They just come, and that's it. And and they don't care if they leave out with, with, the, with the broken eye socket. And, and they and, deliver. And, and they deliver every time. They deliver, man. And, 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 and they take honor in delivering. Ass whooping and all for the people, so I think that that's a full of shit comment. Uh, I think he, 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 I mean, it, it seems like a hating comment to me mm. uh, because the thing is, you know, that Mungia, uh, he's always been, he's, he's a good kid, bro. I mean, you know, I mean, he, he's always been the way he is, but when it comes to the two months, he gets in the ring, he's coming to want to fuck you up. He's always has, whether he's getting his ass whooped or not, he, he comes, and so I, I, re I respect that. 
you know. Uh, uh, you, you're a Latin. Uh, you, you're a Latino HLD, and I wanna, I wanna, kind of briefly, because in this sport, it's tough to have ultimate respect for somebody, but in reality, a lot of these big fights happen because that the respect is there, right? So when you hear Canelo talking about you got to be professional and you're respectful. In la like, if you if you go to a Latin household, respect is huge. Like, as soon as we open the door, we have to kiss our mom in the cheek and say bendición. Amen. You know, we have a certain type of respect that we don't we don't get what we want if we do not respect. There's certain cultures that will give you whatever. You, you, you do get something. You get smacked upside your head. That's what you get. <laughs> you get oh la correa ta, ta buena también. You know, uh, 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 you know, my my son, my son, uh, I, I raised him with that, and 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 he knows whenever we come over at Wella's house or Tia's house, or whatever, you know, any family's house, anybody's house, first thing you do is you, you know, say familia la bendición a todo el mundo. When you're leaving, la bendición a todo el mundo. Uh, same thing if we go to any place, you know, we're going to practice. Uh, before we start jumping around anything, yeah, no, no, you go to your coaches, you, you, you shake their hands, you know, you know, what's going on, coach, how we doing? Then you say hi to your friends and the players. And then let's get right. That's that's the way I raised my son. No excuses. I don't care what. It's 2024. Your motherfucking fathers teach your sons how to be a man. Um, so, uh, so yeah, man, it's, it's, it is respect. But, but then, I think Canelo, when he said that, he... he he knows what Benavides is. I've seen it insane out there. So he's trolling it, bro. He's trolling it. You know what I mean? That's what he's doing. I love that. He he, he knows that this, this is all going to trigger everybody. Because Benavides seen it already put up oh, because, of, you know, we, we weren't respectful. And so, yeah, so Canelo's not going to tell him that. Yeah, you're not being respectful. Now you got shit. <laughs> mm. He's going to troll. But the bottom line is, he was never offered a fight with Benavidez. Never. Mm. There was no money on the table. That was all fake news by Samsung and the Benavidez camp. And poor, you know. He be and, he, and, I and noticed he be everywhere, too. Samsung, he be huh? everywhere. Liquidless, right? E Equalist? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he be everywhere uh, trying to kind of troll for his fighters and stuff that he promotes. Yeah, bro. I mean, and, well, the thing is, I've only really seen him troll hard. Benavides. For Benavides. Uh outside of that. But he's uh, going he's uh, going hard for Fondora in this fight. With well, Zoom. he has to now. He has to now. I mean more than ever because you know it's it's a, it's now a big fight. Um but he's not he's it, it's not a it's not a false narrative that's gonna be going on with Fondora like he was doing for Benavides, making up all these, you know, claims of, you know, we offered him this, we offered him that, and they're like, dude. You, you, you don't got you, you. You ain't you ain't that guy. <laughs> you mm. ain't that guy to be able to offer anything. So, you think? Uh, when you that guy, you that guy. You know that's. I mean, hold on, hold on. You you got you that guy. You're gonna offer sixty million for Canelo, and your guy only gets five million or ten million. Come on, man, that makes no sense. <laughs> so sometimes, uh, like, so do you feel like? Hey, do you feel like? Boots should, Boots should go the respectful route with, with Crawford and be like, I would, you know, I need that fight. I like, I would appreciate that fight. Like, you know, show the humbleness of that fight. Or, no, or, or do no, you think I that he needs to go more was... raw? He need to go more raw and be no, like, is that he, he, he needs to speak, bro. When's the last time you heard Boots talk? But how does he go about it? Because this well, is first thing is that he's got to show the world that he wants that fight. I don't really know that he wants this fight. I mean, as much as I want to see it, as much as I want to see that fight, what is Boots doing to make this fight in the, you know, in the public eye? He hasn't, bro, he's, he's quieted in a fucking church mouse. You know, you know what's messing up a lot in boxing right now, though? To be real, more than, I think this is an issue that us boxing um, enthusiasts that really love boxing, that have been watching boxing for over 20 years, we haven't really dealt with this uh, narrative of you're my friend, I don't fight you. And um, I got to give credit to, to Bill. 
when he said that about he's like, yo, Shakur need to do what he had to do. And plus, he got like three friends in that in that motherfucking division and shit. And they're all really top guys and shit. Like, this shit is some shit that we never really dealt with before. If you was friends, you was you was you was getting money together. You know what I mean? Um, it's the sign of the times, bro. I mean, this this new age of I mean, come on, man. This new, this, 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 like, this, like, come on, Danny, Danny, Danny could have passed the torch. Danny could have even passed the torch to Boots. Let's be real. He could have passed the yeah, Philly, but, the Philly but, torch. But, but tell me this: Why wasn't Bo- was Boots at the at the Spence Crawford fight? It the 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 energy of really wanting that fight to me is not there either. I yeah, asked, I asked was, Greg, was, I asked people, you know, I hear what people's, you know, responses. I just, I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, one thing is on the business side, but I'm just talking about what Boots is not doing shit to want to command this fight. He's not doing anything, man. I, I mean, I haven't heard the man talk. I don't, I don't remember an interview of this guy like, yo, I want this. Then we had that chance with the, what was it with Lalo and and Gilly over there, and, bro. It just it didn't, that was the opportunity more for him, to, like. Yeah, bro. Yeah, motherfucker. I want this shit. I want your belt, old man. I want your head on a platter. The people, I, I, you know, it's one thing when the people want it more than the actual fighter, and that's really what it's coming down to. And I, and I, that's what I'm, that's what I'm sensing. And like, I do want to see that fight. I think it would be a great fight. It's the, I, I think it's probably I, one of the best stylistic, uh, competitive Tio fights right now. Why do I hear Tio wanting Crawford more than Boots? Why is it? Why is? Why is Tio's promoter out there? Putting it out. We open to that fight. If Crawford wants to make this fight, we'll make it happen. Why is Bob Arum out there being it's out there on record saying it? But I don't hear nothing from Boots. It get, I'm going to be real with you, bro. I'm going to be real with you. Anytime Ryan Garcia and Tia Fimo talk, I take it with a grain of salt. Now, when it comes to challenges, you can't, complete, you can't put Tia on the same Ryan Garcia shit. Are you kidding me? No, no, no. When it comes to challenges, Tia, that's different. I'm talking about when they talk. I'm talking about when they talk. I want Loma with only eight, nine fights. He got Loma five fights later. When, 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 when Tio said, yo, I want, I want Taylor next. He got Taylor next, the next three fights. So it ain't no with a grain of salt. That ain't no with a grain of salt. When Tio says he wants to be the best, he wants to be the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the other shit that we hear but you gotta, you gotta be consistent, though. How is he not consistent? No Maybe me, another fighter of this era. No me digas que te vas. <laughs> Yo, Come bro, on. what you mean? He ain't consistent. Well, consistent with what? With his fights? Performances. Uh, uh, fighting the bus? Performances. What does performances and and but but he throws himself in the fight. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's you're, good. You're coach, you're coach, you're that, that's that's good. Some, some, like, some, you know, some fighters you know, never. They, that's the only opportunity some fighters got. Why, why, why didn't Devin Haney fight Sandal Martin? I'm not talking about Devin Haney right now. Uh, uh, why, why? Because he goes and takes these challenges, regardless. He's not cherry picking his way to get the best fights for himself to look good. I agree. He's not doing what Terry Scrapper is doing. Hey, I'm gonna fight all these flat footed motherfuckers, man. That I'm gonna fucking because you know that's. I'm game with these people. I don't agree on that one, but okay. Come on now. I'm waiting. So it's when he's... What I'm saying is Boots is not doing what he needs to do to 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 create even a buzz to want to have that fight. He's not... He's not do- yeah, you're right. I'll give you that. He's not doing anything to create a buzz for that fight, but the people are doing it and... And now it's like, yo, this is that time. You know what I mean? Like the people believe in it. Shit, people. There's so many. Look at, look at Teal. I don't believe that Teal's people really believe in that Crawford fight the way you and Punch Drunk do. I don't I mean, believe it. I, mean, I believe that. I be in, I be in the I comments. I be in everything. I can see. I can tell you that. Huh? I, be, I believe that if that contract gets put in front of Tio's face, he signs that contract and don't say and and and, and, and don't say that me mono hurts or anything that, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He'll I mean, he'll sign that contract. He'll definitely sign that contract. He'll even sign that contract even if the money 
it's not. It's not there. Yeah, exactly. If it's not there, he's you know? still. He'll still do that. I give. I give. Right. I I give Tio all his all his uh, blessings. That, that's, what I'm saying, but I'm, that's one thing. Is like people be like, "Yo, Mills, you you a Tio hater after that comment that he made?" No, I, I never talk bad about Tio, but I will always talk about some of the things that need to be fixed, just like everybody else. Subia so got a whole bunch of line of things that he got to fix, but it just happens to be he find he, his his performances speak for themselves. It's, it's it's consistent every time. There was one time it wasn't consistent, right? If, if, if and look what happened. To fight a whole bunch of a whole bunch of uh, campas, <laughs> like everybody else is doing. <laughs> How would he be looking then? Because we we believe in other look, look at the interview we just did with with. I had to ask Kenny yo what what was your thoughts on the Malik Hawkins, you know? And he said that yo. The other people had him think, I think, because what happened was, what, he was with Mustafa? No, 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 he was with Bozy, right? Um, Malik Hopkins was with Bozy, I think, before he, then he was with, with Kenny. Something like that. So, uh, maybe he was with some other people, too. I don't know. But, regardless of the fact, a good boxer, bro. Uh, he's a good boxer. And he was six feet tall. And he got he had every he had everything that that people needed. Now, once what once you know what Matias had to do, what he did, then Richardson Hitchens took the opportunity to get him. You know what I'm saying? After, but Malik Hawkins, a good fighter, and nobody talks about him. But I can understand that fight with Matias messed him up. Mm. Messed him up, you know. And guess what? You see all these, other, and that was Mayweather's top guy. Now all every other every other um, promotional platform, any company looked at that fight and been like, "I'm not, I'm not sticking my man in there with that guy. I'm not doing it. This is my top prospect. I'm not doing it." And that's not, you know, you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is, son. I mean, there's a business side to this, guys. We gotta understand there's a business side. There's a you know, there, there's investments that are done uh, with these fighters. Uh, 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 you know, uh, just like in the record business, there's advancements, and you got to pay me back. And a lot of these people are caught up in that shit too. And so, when you don't get your fighter, like Tank Davis, gonna go fight Lomachenko for five years because they don't want to lose their investment. There's a lot of money to be made, and so why are we gonna risk it? And he owes us money. <laughs> Yo, Larry Lopez, Malik was it. it. He was he was it before he fought Ma Matias. If you know anything about Mayweather promotions, you know what I'm saying? Anything about Mayweather promotions, just anything, you would understand. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, what, what is Mayweather trying to do with this young kid that he got now, bro? Which I mean, one? Yeah, he got him like, Cormel? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, and he got him as, 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 as you know, oh, bro, he's, he's Tank Davis. <laughs> you know, he's already up on the machine. Chacho Papi, come here. He has one fight, I think, or something like that, right? So. With, the, with the money, I think he got two or three. Um, With the money, you could do anything nowadays with these guys. Well, so. look at this, yeah, so how much money you think this kid already has taken, bro? You know this kid has an advancement. He owes that back. Didn't, did, so didn't, didn't, didn't you, didn't you hear so Mayweather gonna, say that he's going to be a millionaire within a year or something like that? Uh, I, 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 see, I, I see Mayweather making him a... Uh, 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 you know, doing that gravy train, feeding them a whole bunch of whatevers, and you know, making them seem like they're a lot more than what they are. And so, yeah, man, it's a machine, bro. It's it's a, and they're good for them. It's a, it's a machine. The only thing don't 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 expect me to count it as 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 a legacy fighter. That's all. Mm. That's all. But but that but it's a business. You know, it's a business. So I, so the Boots and Crawford fight. Yes, I I I don't see that the the demand is there for Crawford to. To command the same money that he did with Porter, for example, the boots and and that fight sold shit. I think that fight didn't do shit. You know what I mean? They lost money on that fight, big time. Top rank lost a lot of money on that fight. And do you think that Crawford and Boots will command the same type of money as Crawford and Porter? I, I don't. I, they're not going to bring. They're not going to generate that type of money. So I, I get it. There's a business sense. It's because you know people I mean? don't understand that side of it, though, bro. 
Yeah, so I, I think, but the, but then the the, the, the the fighters, if 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 they just speak to everyone more, look, man, I want to fight this dude, but you guys, as a meter of the people, are not gonna generate help generate make the money that it that it requires for me to fight this guy. Boots is gonna want his part, and 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 for an example, Le- Leonard Ellerby once. I mean, you know, one thing I can respect about that man is. Is he's always said with ten kids, man. It's a, it's a business. They're not here by when he said they don't give a fuck about the belts. I truly believe them. They don't give a fuck about the belts. For him to make a fight with Devin Haney, Devin Haney's gonna command three, four, five million dollars, and he said, it. "Who's gonna pay him that? Who's gonna pay him that to fight?" No, man. He, when Tank could go fight a Mario Barrios for three, four, five hundred k. And, and 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 make twenty million dollars. Um, Mario Barros was. I think he was a millionaire for after that fight. Uh, yeah, I mean, he, 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 you know, I don't know what his share was with the pay per view, but I know his his guarantee was like maybe five hundred thousand. Yeah, you know what I mean. And so, yeah, with the pay per view shares, he may may have toppled over the million mark and whatnot, but. But but what I'm saying, when you don't have to guarantee three, how, how different is paying your opponent? You can make twenty million dollars to your pocket because you didn't have to pay five million dollars to your opponent. Mm. So now I'm taking fifteen million instead of twenty million. See what I mean? It, you know that's that that's that's why we see these lopsided fights with the type of opponents. Now Crawford is gonna want probably ten million dollars to fight Boots, and you think Boots is gonna fight Crawford for five hundred k? See, this is this this is this is the thing in the comments. Larry Lopez, right? You go and you say, Tio sent Matias an offer. Matias said his his hand hurt. So Larry Lopez, when Teofimo Lopez lost to Cambosis, right? And he wasn't okay. In reality, we talked to Senior, Teal's dad, and he said that we're never gonna make stupid decisions like that again. We're never going to make stupid. And I agreed with him. But when you leave comments like that, it don't make sense. It's like, it's so casual. It's a casual, it's, it's casual talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, these none, none of these guys go in 100%. But God, if you already, if you already like in a downfall, like I'm not a defensive fighter, I'm an offensive fighter. And when I do use my defense, I use my hands to defense for shields. <laughs> so <laughs> a hand for Subra Matias means a lot more than a lot of these other guys that can move their head that are more defensively sounded. He's an offensively sounded. I think when it comes to great defense in Subra, people won't give him credit for what he does. And honestly, even Panda said it. Um, guys like uh, William Cepeda got more defense than, than – um, you know, Subban Matias. And that's a fact. You know yeah, what I mean? But he's so offensively good that it t- your offense can be your defense in boxing. You know? It depends on what you sharpen. It depends on what you sharpen in the gym. You know? That's what matters. So I just had to say that Larry Lopez, bah. you know what I'm saying? I wanna. I'm. I'm trying to coach you, Larry. Yeah, Larry. Larry, what you needed to put down is that, yo, man, he did agree verbally to fight him in June. What happened with that? And then, and then, and then, the only thing that people get, they want to say you biased. But tell me why I'm biased. Regalo, you get it fixed, papito, y ya. Now he's fighting. Now he's fighting. Paro. Yo, punch one of the yo. Listen, punch one of the see him fight Pre- Regis. Stop it. You know he going. Who to fight Regis? Subriel. Oh, next. I, no, he said he'd rather not, see he rather see no. Regis fight Matias no. than than Liam Paro. No, uh, no, I I I I wouldn't agree with that one. I, I think Regis. Uh, doing what he's that's, do right ca- that's casual talk. That's 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 like, oh, you got a name? I think, I think Regis needs to get a fight under his belt, whether it be a Barboza. Shout out to my brother. 
Zab Judah on the live as well. Larry got to Larry, you got to listen. There you go, Zab. Salute. Salute, Zab. I'll lie. Talk to him, Zab. Yo, I miss my bro, Zab. Yo, la ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I said girls. <laughs> girls. <laughs> listen, give a round of applause to Super and to the Nevada Hall of Fame. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody can say that. Not anybody can say that. So salute to Zab Judah. We'll be definitely doing a segment real soon just talking about that alone. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what something is where I forget what they call it. I'm going to educate myself in a few minutes. But where you land in the Hall of Fame, they have they have pieces of like where, like what spot. Do you, do you know what I mean by that? As far as like uh, where you... Uh, fourth or fifth of this year landing on the Hall of Fame. They have a name system for where you're ranked in the Hall of Fame. Do you know any? Do you know the, that verbiage? Or no? They're talking about if you're a first ballot Hall of Fame. First ballot. first ballot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, my guy Zab, salute. Salute. Um, Once again, it's like not not all the fighters like, like Zab, he'll tap in on the on the live and he'll write not all the fighters will do that you know some most of them will just be watching and they don't want to write nothing but zab zab will write you don't care that's my uh, dude zab, 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 zab is very comfortable in his own skin uh, absolutely he knows what's up he, he, he yeah, i know zab is zab has been a gem to, to your to, to your platform <laughs> yo zab zab is the zab is the one that told me to stop um rocking with fight hype and do your own thing he, uh, yeah. Zab, I actually Good took man. Zab's, uh, you know what I mean, his advice to that. You know what I mean? And and it worked out for me, bro. Amen, amen. No, it really worked out for me. Like, even financially, it worked out for me. Like, I was getting I was getting used. So, mm. salute to Zab man. and stuff, because he's he seen something in me. And he's like, yo, Mills, you, could, you know, you can get the exclusives from me. I support what you do and stuff. And uh, that, that was... Man, this is a part of my boxing journey myself, bro. No, man. It's, well, that's what I'm saying. You, 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 you have a way of having your having the people when they come on, the people you interview and everything. Uh, you don't do no gotcha moments, right? You're not trying to do no gotcha moments. You just you let them free flow, man, and you let you know, and and and, and you let them be who they are, and be comfortable with their opinions, and 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 you don't shallow away from the questions but you at the same time you're respectful about it there's a method to this madness of how to do shit right you know you're not like the you're not you're you're not you're not trying to uh uh, uh use these people uh and then you know try to create a narrative to try to fuck up with what they were saying right after an interview you don't do that you just say hey, this is what they said is their word and that's that you know, you're not trying to create no narratives with it. So uh, you're, you're natural with it. And hey, man, uh, the, the, Zab, Zab knows what he was talking about when he said, yo, man, you should do this. Yeah, yeah. he's, And it's just crazy. It was easy for me to, to listen to because I've been a fan of Zab Judah for a long time. So it was easy for me to just listen to that. You know what I'm saying? So plus Zab's a real one. <laughs> just I can't even get into detail, but yo, he he he, he a real one. I, that's all I'll say. That's all I'll say. That broke my heart on that Mayweather fight. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I I thought he was whooping that ass. I'm like, yeah, we going back. I that that entire house was exploding, bro. We were all on it, and then oh dang. <laughs> okay. Anything can happen in boxing, bro. Yeah, man, but no, bro. We were putting up eating on Mayweather, bro. We were like, yeah. We were, we were like, yeah. This, this. I, I, oh, it's like, I won't <laughs> That's how we were feeling in the first round. Bro, that was okay. not. There was like so many fights that night. Shit. Like after the fight, yeah. during the fight. Yeah. And I'm not talking about <laughs> boxing. <laughs> It was a rowdy night. I know that for sure. It was. It was at my place. Uh, and Manito, man, I got. I got. I got. I gotta get into a. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta call. I gotta take here. But 
My money, the man. Like I was my pleasure having me on. Came to shoot the shit a little bit. Give you my take on the Canelo news. Love it. Uh, Canelo news trolling and and the, uh, that that he was doing yesterday. And, and hey, man, this Mungia fight is 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 as is, is as good as a fight uh, that we can expect. At least you know we didn't get a Charlo fight. We got a Mungia fight. Kids coming. Kids coming for war. Outside that mills, man. Papa, te hablamos la próxima. Tú sabes, papi. Suave. Suave, bro. You already know. Phone lines are open, ladies and gentlemen. Phone lines are open. Salute to the guy. HLD in the building. Larry Lopez, I see they're eating you up in the in the comments, bro. It's all good. My man out here said, listen, don't even know boxing. He doesn't even have boxing equipment. I don't know. I don't really know Larry Lopez, though. He be he be showing love, but he be throwing he be throwing um, you know, his we wanna call it gems. If it's a gem or, you know. Or his opinion. Salute to everybody on the live. Well, we got over 200 people on the live. Smash that like button and improve the visibility of the show as well, ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate that. Um, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, it's your boy Mills from Mill City Bikes, the home of the high level pro boxing media, the fighters channel, the trainers channel, the people's channel. El Boni Gringillo del El Boxeo. You know? <laughs> so, yeah, man, great news. Um, let me know what y'all think in the comment section as well when it comes down to Canelo in that press conference. Do you believe Mungia is just there for the moment? Do you feel like he's going to take a dive? Do you feel like this is going to be a real fight? Do you feel like it's going to be an entertaining fight? Are you happy with the fight? I'm going to drop a poll in here as well. Um, and then we'll finish up the segment. Normally we are on at 12, um, but we rocked out here for two hours and we did a little bit early. Coach Kenny called me, so I said, yo, we could do the interview now. So I said, rock it. Let's get it, you know. Um, but once again, salute to everybody on the live. Uh, the poll, okay? The poll for today is, <laughs> did you hit the like button? <laughs> oh, man. For real, for real. Oh, let me see. I'm at, I'm actually going to see if, if Zab... Uh, did you hit the like button? See if Zab's ready. Uh, if he's uh available, I'm gonna send him a link. See if he's around. If not, he you know he's just chilling. Hold on one second, people. There it is. Hopefully everybody's having a great day, man. Hopefully you guys go out, do a little workout. I've been doing some of my, my workouts as well because um, got to get ready for these push-ups. Ryan got me going crazy right now. He's saying so many different things that I don't know. I might lose that bet to Judah. So I started doing my push-ups and losing the weight as we speak. I've been going to the bathroom like every – Two hours. I don't know. That might have been too much information. But hey, I'm I'm out here. I'm trying. I'm trying. Smash the like button to improve the visibility of the show, guys. We got 226 people on the live. Let's get these likes up, man. Uh I don't hit the three dots. Once you hit the three dots, you get the likes up. All right. Uh Team Tank on the all the way. I like it. Jonathan, I like it. I like it. What y'all thought about um Bill Haney and some of those uh, videos he did yesterday. He spoke a lot of real shit when it came down to that live. I dropped it yesterday. What's your thoughts about that live as well? Ryan Garcia and him and all that. You know what I mean? Julio Rodriguez in the building. Dímelo, dímelo, dímelo. El body gringillo en la casa. What's poppin'? What's poppin', Julio? What's goody? What's goody? Salute to everybody on the live as well, man. Um. A pistol is the best, a best self of defense. Yeah, man, keep it, keep it chill, keep it chill. You know what I'm saying? No violence up in here, no violence up in here. Smash that like button, guys. Uh, did y'all hit that like button? Don't say yes and you didn't do it. Just do it. Smash that like button. Appreciate you guys for coming in as well, man. Um, that's all I got for you for today. I'll be dropping some more uh content. Um, salute to everyone that has uh you know popped in and um I got a lot of work to do so. I'll be back um, 
most likely later on today. And if not, we'll be back tomorrow at 12. All right. Salute to each and every single one of y'all. Once again, if y'all haven't subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and also become a member. The link is in the in the bio. I don't have it in the comments today, but I, it's in the bio. All right. Salute. God bless. And we'll be on to the next one. Appreciate y'all.